Boolean variables and expressions um, can have a value of true or false. When you have an if statement, uh, what's being done in the condition part is uh, the evaluation of a condition of a boolean uh, variable and if the if that's true then the code inside the if statement gets executed if it's false it doesn't um, in this lesson we're gonna cover a little bit about um, boolean algebra how we can know if a condition is true or false um, and how we can join more than one condition using um, the and and the or um, operators. So let's look at, at AND first and we write that as like this with two AND signs. Um, but we want to test if whether these true variables are um, are true. So we want to know if it's a runner AND, I'm, I'm going to type it with words, AND is a smoker but we don't write it like that, we just write it like this. So if this is true and this is true, then the whole thing will be true, right? Because it's a runner, yes, it's a smoker, yes. This means that the two of them have to be true in order for the expression to be true. If one of them is false, then this whole condition will be false. Because if I say um, is a runner and is a smoker, but hey, he's um, he's not a smoker, so he's not a runner and a smoker. The whole thing is false. Um, so I'm, I'll show you and condition is true. I'll show you when this is true. Uh, in this case it's false, but if the, if the two variables are true, then the condition is true. Now, regarding the naming, I've put them is runner, is smoker. That's just a personal preference when dealing with um, booleans. But this could easily be A and B, if you know what I mean. I just like um, calling uh, boolean variables with is because then I know right away that we're checking like if something is or not. Um, so that's regarding the 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 and statement. The only the only case when this whole thing is true is when all of the individual variables are true. And that makes sense in real life. If I say, are you a runner and a smoker? If you if you say, if you're a runner but you're not a smoker, then you have to say no to that sentence because you're not a runner and a smoker. And now OR, that's the other um, operator that we're, we're, we're looking into. Um, in English, uh, you say OR, but that means, um, sometimes it means that it's one or the other but not the two of them well in here it means that if it's it's true if if one of them is true then the whole thing is already true no matter what the other one is if the other one if the two of them are true then the whole thing is true if one is true and the other is not true then the whole thing is still true the only case when it's false is when the two of them are false by the way it doesn't have to be just two it could be you could have more uh, than two um, variables or conditions being evaluated here. So in this case um, we'll get that it's true as well because the two of them are true and if one of them is false th this is still true and what if the two of them are false well then um, then this whole thing is false. So you could also have things like um, is a runner and the age is um, greater than 30 and then you can have a certain uh, a certain code being executed in this case uh, this is false but we can make it uh, we can make it true like this um, Oops, it's greater than 30, not smaller than less than. Yeah, so see that um, we can also, um, the, they don't need to have the, the value true or false, but they can have it um, beforehand, but it can also be um, an expression like this that will get evaluated to um, true or false. Um, to summarize, there's a, well, there's a whole mo there's there's more to it than just than just this. What happens when you start um, 
getting into more complex things but usually you want to test just um, one or two conditions at a time so this having an understanding of this part um, is enough to cover um, a lot of the cases that you might encounter when you're uh, programming your websites or your uh, mobile apps or games.